Hello everybody, today we're taking a look at a new rogue called Futuro Antivirus Software. Pretty interesting name, so let's check it out. So go ahead and run the executable here. Try to open up Task Manager. So as you can see, it's running as 44a something something.exe. Oh, and there it is. Futu oh my goodness, what is happening? Oh, DWM got infected. How? How? How did this happen? I want Arrow back. Where did it go? So this is Futuro Antivirus Software. Pretty primitive looking, as you can see. Sort of like a hack job of a security tool or live security professional or something like that. And as you can see, I somehow have not run a scan in, in a while, you know. Today, that was a while ago, so we'll just scan now again. And now it's finding all of these things that are infected on my computer. We have rootkits and backdoor spies and rootkit and backdoor spies and Trojan Win32s. Uh, not a lot of variation in, in the names of these for some reason. We're getting plenty of pop-ups down here telling us that we are infected. Okay, so 130 infections. Let's go ahead and check out the other tabs. We've got... Let's enable protection. Oh, we have to enter a serial number. Okay. How about privacy? Privacy on. No, not yet. How about update? Update on? Please? No, of course not. Settings? You can't change any of the. Oh, you can change these. Well, really? Okay, so it doesn't run at startup automatically? I don't know if I believe that or not. So, it apparently lets you change these settings, although I don't think that they actually do anything. Let's go ahead and try to turn on our update. And let's get our serial numer. Register software, get a window. At least it doesn't full screen. So yeah, pay now. And we are charging $79.95 for Futuro Antivirus Unlimited License. Excellent. Beautiful. Go ahead and close that. And let's try to run something. IE, no. Can run Explorer. Cannot run Windows Media Player. How about Solitaire? No. 7-Zip File Manager? I said run. No. How about getting started? Okay, so we can run that. Can't really do much with that, though. And as you can see, Futuro tries to stay on the top of the window here. So minimize it. And that seems to work okay. It's down here at the bottom. There it is. Can't, like, right-click close or anything like that. So, pretty simplistic looking fake antivirus, and it seems to work pretty well. It blocks me from doing just about anything. Uh, blocks Internet Explorer, blocks Task Manager, blocks Solitaire, so... Yeah, it works pretty damn well for what it is. So, now that we've done a quick demonstration of it, let's go ahead and remove Futuro antivirus software. We're going to start by going into safe mode, which will involve us restarting our computer and mashing the F8 key. And for some reason, I have some kind of difficulty with doing this, where it'll only work about half the time, and the other half, it'll just beep the PC speaker and not do anything. So, let's see if we get it first attempt. No, is it gonna work? Yeah, it did work, okay. So we'll go to safe mode with networking, hit enter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the resolution a bit here. There we go, well, almost, almost, there we go. That looks good. Now we're just gonna go ahead and download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, so we don't need to restore session. Malwarebytes.org. Go ahead and download free version. Should start automatically, but just go ahead and click download now. 
went ahead and ran it. You could save it if you want. Run. Select your language. Next. Accept your license agreement. Go ahead and install. And then go ahead and just disable free trial for MBAM Pro. Leave update and launch. Click finish. And now Malwarebytes is going to update automatically. And we will only need to run a quick scan. So just go ahead and click the scan button. Okay, our scan is completed. We'll go ahead and click OK and show results. As you can see, it found two infections. We've got the file and the registry key. Go ahead and remove selected. Get a nice log. Just go ahead and close it and click yes to reboot. And as you can see, Malwarebytes appears to have completely removed Futuro antivirus software. Uh, there's no leftover shortcuts or anything like that. So that will wrap it up for this video. Thank you all very much for watching and take care.